One young traveling troupe of actors in Milwaukee is putting a hilarious twist on traditional tales. Once a month, eight kids gather at a local church in Milwaukee to spend four hours creating stories and practicing improv. Our story starts back in the root and two wild <laughs> west. Currently, they're putting a fresh spin on Goldilocks and the Three Bears. The group is called The Lost Tales, and it's part of the Milwaukee Youth Theater. All the kids have to audition and earn a spot on the team. 15-year-old Naomi Grant has been a member for three years. It's like, you don't know what you're going to get when you go out there. Someone can say, oh, my favorite color is red, and you have to respond to that, like, immediately. The group performs across the city, mostly at schools and nursing homes. The goal is to entertain and bring smiles and laughs to as many people as possible. This is the middle of Central Park. What are you doing? The young actors build incredible friendships along the way. If we fail, we'll all get together and do something together just to figure out, like, oh, let's, let's, oh my God, this person just fell. Ah, let's pick them up and act like it happened on purpose. <laughs> Naomi says doing improv is a lesson on life, boosting confidence and communication skills. It helps you connect with others, become more positive and spontaneous more open and willing to take risks. You are going to find it everywhere. People are very random and they will say very random things at very random times. And you always have to come up with something like right there, like snap of blink of an eye. Harmony Baker is the executive director at Milwaukee Youth Theater, which requires a lot of work. Still, she gives her time to help guide the Lost Tales group in writing stories, developing characters, and executing their ideas. Every aspect of each performance is led by them. Seeing the the creativity that they bring to it is just insane it's i cannot think of a more fun job she gets a front row seat watching them grow on stage and in life it lets them know that they have something to add um and that they have uh gifts that that they can give and they're an important part of of the whole Naomi credits so much of her growth over the years to Miss Harmony. She has impacted my life. Like, I actually think a lot has changed ever since, like, I actually met her and I was introduced into theater. Um, I regained my confidence. I was struggling with depression before, and when she came in, it was just really nice. And she just said, hey, you don't know how to act? Well, we are going to go out here and we're going to get it done. Unbreakable bonds strengthened by the unpredictability and fun of improv. Once you find a good theater, you don't want to leave. You really don't, and I'm never going to. <laughs> Maybe if you get cast on SNL, you will. <laughs> True. <laughs> Creating bright futures well beyond the stage and leaving a mark on anybody who gets to witness a little of their magic. In Milwaukee, Kelly Mylan, Spectrum News.